back to my channel, Alex here. I'm so excited that you guys are tuned in today for my video. I haven't done one of these in a really long time. It's a little get ready with me where I just do my makeup and hair, you guys, because I've been feeling really, really fabulous lately. So I was like, let me share today's look with you guys. So as always, do let me know down in the comment section if you like these kinds of videos. If you want to see more of these like get ready with me style videos, do let me know down in the comment section if you want to see a little bit more of them. All right, you guys, and I'll totally do them for you. All right, so don't forget that everything is worth it try thank you so much for watching and subscribing if you have and i'll see you in my next video really really soon so stay tuned for this week's get ready with me as for starters i'm going to go ahead and use a face oil this is by dharma e it's an illuminating face oil and as always i'll have everything that i use listed down in the description box but i really like this oil because it gives my skin a lot of like luminosity to it it really moisturizes and things like that so the primer that i'm going to use today is by nyx it's their angel veal primer one of my favorite drugstore primers and i'm basically going to use this all over my face i have combination oily skin so this is a really really nice primer really gets in there and gives me like a photoshop type of finish to my skin without breaking the bank for foundation I'm using the Estee Lauder double wear foundation um, I like this foundation in terms of its staying power and how it looks on the skin so now I want to basically start to put my face back together if that makes sense so I'm going to do my brows I'm going to use my favorite pencil this is from Mac this is their eyebrow pencil in the shade spiked my favorite eyebrow pencil for years actually it just really does a good job of defining the brow and you don't have to sharpen or anything. I do need a wax on these things, but I try to like grow them as much as I can before I go in and get a wax. So that's what I've been doing. I'm trying to grow them out just a little bit. Now to fill them in, I'm switching to another pencil. This is by IT and this is their Brow Power. It's basically a brow powder in pencil form. So I'm gonna be using that to fill in a little bit more. And I also love the fact that it's got a spoolie on the end. That's like a lifesaver when you're doing your brows because you don't want them too harsh. Now I'm just taking some concealer and sculpting out my arch a little bit more and cleaning everything up. I usually stay away from this when my brows are done, but when my brows aren't done, it's like I have to go in and use a concealer just to clean everything up because it's it's just a hairy mess. Some good old LA Girl Pro Conceal, just because it's never let me down. So we're going to go ahead and catch it while it's wet. I got lines under my eyes, so have to, have to, have to set my concealer. I also take this opportunity to set my um, brows and my eyelids. I set my brows to make sure that they stay in place all day. So I just take a little bit of the setting powder and just go over my brows. Nothing too over the top now that that's all on there what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is do my eyeshadow so I wanted to use this color from Colourpop this is called paradox and it's like a really pretty maroon type of shade so excuse this how this looks it's it's gonna it's gonna get better I promise so I'm gonna go ahead and take a flat eyeshadow brush and what I'm going to do before I do that, I always, always, like, I get so excited about doing eyeshadow. I think that's why I don't do it as much as any, anymore. <laughs> I'm going to go in with this Urban Decay color. This is called Buck. It is an eyeshadow. I'm going to take my Sigma E40 blending brush, favorite blending brush ever, and I'm going to put that in the crease. This is going to be transition shade. You always need this, and I always forget it sometimes until the end. It's annoying. So this is going to go in the crease before I lay any color down. 
Sometimes you can put an all-over um, eye color on. I like to use Max Saddle if I'm going to go for an all-over eye color. But I literally just throw this in my crease just to know that I have something in between shades. So I'm going to go back in with Paradox on that flat shader brush and I'm literally pulling it down. That's all I'm doing. I'm not sweeping or anything like that. And you can see the color payoff is intense. Corner. I'm just making sure that I get the placement that I want. Now that that's on there, I go back in with my Sigma E40 blending brush and just take care of the harsh line that was created. I'm not blending it out, I'm just blending off some of the harshness on the line. I'm going to go in with my topper color. This is a pigment from MAC. This is Rose Pigment. And I'm going to use that same flat brush. I'm just going to put a little bit of it into the cap. Same brush that I used. And we're just going to take some of that, knock off any excess because we don't want this flying everywhere. And the same motion, that same press and pull motion. And to add a little bit more dimension, I want to go in with another color. And this color is called Embark by MAC. It's my favorite dark brown. And I'm just going to take a short brush like this. This is a super crease brush. I'm not doing any super crease stuff. So I'm just going to take that. Let's put that right there. Not too crazy. Just the outside, just for a little bit of dimension. I don't want anything too fussy. We're not, we're not getting fussy today. We're just placing and sweeping up. I'm going to go back in with the same brush, same Sigma E40, and just blend. That's all. So it looks like I did something. Totally didn't do anything. Make sense? We're just making our makeup life super duper easy because we're not doing much. We're just blending our lives away. So once that's done, I then decide, hey, do I want liner or anything like that? And I probably do with this one because it's a really nice look. So I'm going to go in with my favorite liner pencil. This is by e.l.f. And this is, and the name's gone, but it's an e.l.f. pen. I'm going to definitely put the link to this down in the bottom bar. It's a super easy pen to use. You can make the best liners ever of your life. If you're not like if you're new to liner, I think this is the best pen to have because you have so much control. And it's affordable. So now that the liner is done, I'm gonna go into my waterline using this pencil right here. This is by Make It Forever. This is their Aqua X Pence XL pencil, and it is a gray color. It's called M14, and I like matte grays on my waterline now for some reason. To me, it brings out more of the brown in my eyes because I have light brown eyes. So we're just gonna put that in the waterline. For waterline, I'm just going to go back in with the same Urban Decay Buck and MAC Embark eyeshadows with my Sigma E30 pencil brush. So these two shadow colors are going to go right on my lower lash line to add a little bit more shade and dimension. I wanted to use my favorite mascara right now and this is by uh, L'Oreal. This is their Voluminous Paradise Lash Paradise Mascara. Love this stuff but I am going to go ahead and curl my lashes because I have some of my lashes that actually grow down and it gets annoying because you'll always have that one lash that's poking you in the eye and it's it's just not cool. While my top lash mascara is dry, I'm going to move on to the rest of my face. I am going to set everything over with my MAC Studio Fix powder that I cracked this week. I'm so upset about that, but it's going to be fine. So I'm going to go ahead and set the rest of my face. Now the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation actually kind of sets itself. It's like dry, so you don't have to do this. I just use this as another measure just to add a little bit more color to my skin. Does that make sense? So it just evens everything out. I like about using the MAC Studio Fix powder 
on top of my foundation is that it allows me to have nice dimension to my skin and it also gives me the extra full coverage that I want so I love 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 using this now on top of my foundation I think it's like now a holy grail powder for me so I'm gonna go ahead and bronze up my skin just to warm it up a little bit more I'm gonna be using this uh, powder right here the top fell off <laughs> this is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Powder this is their darkest shade so I just like to go in with a little brush and go ahead and just add a little bit more warmth to my skin I like to have a nice warm type of glow to my skin so I would rather go in with a powder that's a little bit warm not too much but that can also give me a little bit more dimension that I'm seeking once that's squared away, I want to go on ahead and contour my face. And I'm going to be using this contour powder from MAC. As you can see, mine's basically almost gone. It's called Shadowy. And I'm going to go in and contour with this color. I'm using my NARS Eda brush. And I think this is the best brush to have if you're new to contouring. Even if you've been contouring for a long time, if you're new to it, I think this is the best brush because you can't screw up contouring with this brush at all. It does all the work for you. You don't have to do anything. All I do is bring my color down and I push it up to really sculpt out those cheekbones that I'm trying to achieve. <laughs> so as you can see from just looking straight on at me, one side of my face is already done. I didn't do, I, it took two seconds, so if you don't have the NARS Eda brush, get it, because you need it. For my nose, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be using a blush color, actually. This is called Blunt from MAC Cosmetics. I'm going to be using this little brush right here. It's from Moda. They are a another branch of Royal Land Nickel. You guys know I love Royal Land Nickel. So this is what I'm going to be using to deal with this nose today. It's a really easy tool to use. Well, this type of brush anyway it's very nice great for getting your nose contour done the so nose contour is done so i'm gonna go ahead and put some brow gel on these brows because they're already set with powder this brow gel that i'm using is by makeup forever as well this is doesn't have a color but they do have a lot of shades in their brow gel this one i'm using is transparent because I already have color in my brows, so I don't want to add any more to make them too thick. I like them just the way they are. So now that that is done and I'm a contour, I'm going to go ahead and highlight, which is probably my favorite part. So I am going to be using this brush from Sigma. This is their F35. And for, hmm, let's see. I'm going to be using this Makeup Forever Pro Fusion Highlighter. And this is in the color Golden. It's beautiful, mind you. So I'm going to take that Sigma Ether F35 brush, just press it on in there. Of course, tap off any excess. And wherever my high points are, that's where this brush is going to follow me. And you see that gloriousness on my cheekbones right there. I'm super duper happy. I, yeah, we're good. <laughs> Add a little bit on the Cupid's bow, a little bit above this brow right here, just in the center of my nose just to really pull up that nose bridge that I do not have all right I don't like it on my bubble my nose bubble anymore just in the bridge here just to really make sure that that's seen another thing that I want to do with my face today is I actually want to cut out my contour just a little bit more so I'm just going to take some powder some setting powder and really just cut that line and bring it towards my mouth just to really cut out this shape that we're trying to create with my face today it just gives you a more precise contour and what I like to do is just bring all that powder down don't worry if it's not you know matchy matchy you can use a yellow tone powder to do this as well if you want to that, while that's sitting I'm gonna go ahead and do my lower lash line with mascara the exact same mascara that I used earlier the L'Oreal Lash Paradise voluminous mascara for blush I'm gonna be using this one right here from Milani this is the American Beauty Rose blush had this for a while I'm gonna be using my Rolla Land Nickel Revolution series BX 25 brush 
love this for blush work you guys it's great for contour as well but for putting on your blush it just makes it super easy this is like the Eda brush but for blush makes sense so I'm just gonna place that it just it just adds your blush so effortlessly I love this and I like the color too Milani has some really good blushes so do check them out if you're on the market for a new blush and you want something that's affordable but that's also gonna be pretty really pretty <laughs> then check out Milani guys now I've been doing a blush toppers for a really long time so I mean I've been using the pixie one here from Aspen Novar this is their glowy powder in Rome rose it's really really nice it's like a duo chrome pinky color with some gold reflex in there so what I'm gonna do with this one is I'm gonna use it as a cheek topper so I'm gonna take a little fluffy brush nothing too major roll it on around in there and literally smile and place it on top of my cheeks so all that's doing is when I smile it's just gonna give me just a little bit of a glow and I love that. The A23 from Anastasia Beverly Hills is also a really great brush. Even though it's a, you know marketed as a highlighter brush, it's a really good brush for putting on your cheek toppers as well. So if you've got that brush, try that with your cheek topper if you wear a cheek topper. Go ahead and dust off this powder. So all that did was just chisel out the line here, just a little bit more. And just so we don't get any lines of demarcation, I'm just going to go back in with my Studio Fix powder and just make sure that it's all gone, okay? So now that that's done, I'm going to go ahead and move on to my lips, <laughs> which is one of my favorite parts as well. So for lips today... I'm going to go in with this pencil right here from Makeup Forever. This is their High Precision Lip Pencil. This is in the color number 14. And I'm just going to go ahead and line my lips with this. And I do have a video on how to line your lips. If you're new to lining your lips. I really like this color. <laughs> so I'm going to just fill in my lips with this. It's really nice. It's like that mauve pink shade that I love so much for lashes today because this look obviously needs lashes I'm gonna be using these ones right here they're called goddess and they're from the Coco brand of lash okay guys so lashes are on and I'm really really happy with how they're sitting which is always great so <laughs> so you see what happened with the eyes that I didn't have to do much with that dark eyeshadow the lashes took care of every Thing. So since the lashes took care of most of the dimension that I want in the outer corner, we're going to go ahead and move on to these lips. So for on top of my lip liner that I put down earlier, I'm going to be using this color right here. This is a L'Oreal Infallible Paints Metallic and the color that I'm going to use is Moonlust. Now I've really been interested in the metallic lip trend. And I think it's pretty cool. So lip colors on. So to set everything in place, I'm going to be using this makeup setting spray right here. This is by Pixie. This is their makeup fixing mist. That's just to make sure that everything is in place. So I really like today's look. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is do my hair. <laughs> 